Mattel booth, of course, sponsors of the computer TV coverage of CES 2000. I got Raj here, and this is actually one of those uh, buzz devices at CES 2010. A lot of people talking about this because it's a very unique take on how to use technology to help people with various impairments, like visual impairments. Right. How, how does this thing work? What is this thing? So what it is, it's a, more of an adaptive technology device, right? So it's not like your traditional e-book reader, like a Kindle or, or a Sony e-reader. What this device does, it is empowers uh, users that have difficulty reading printed material. Those users can be people that have learning disabilities such as dyslexia. It can also be users that have uh, visual impairments, um, also blind users. What it does is it allows you to take a photograph of any printed material. It will then analyze that photograph and then take the text and convert it to a text file and then read that text out to you um, using an audible voice such as a male or female voice. Oh, that's incredibly cool. Yeah. So how does it work? Can you show me how this how yeah, this goes absolutely. down here? With now I will tell you, the wonderful disco lights in this area make mess it with a little bit. Oh, yeah, okay. makes messes with it, but we'll do it right now. I'm going to go ahead and hit the shoot mode button. There's a shoot mode button here. Also on the portable capture station is what you see here. There's a shoot mode button down at the bottom. Makes it easier for our our elderly users that maybe can't hold the uh, reader up for long periods of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit the button here. Make sure it's not locked. And okay, what you see is a, a, a image, a visual representation of what you're going to shoot. Okay. So then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and hit the shoot button because I want it to go ahead and capture that. Hopefully the lights in here won't change on me. Okay, just took a photograph. Now what I'm going to do is hit the playback button, and it's going to show me what uh, is being processed. The Atom processor, the Intel Atom processor. Uh, powers this process. So what it'll do now is it'll process the image and then it will give me a text readout as well as an audible of what was captured. So it'll show it to you in large text and it'll actually read can, it to you. I can toggle the text whether I want to go larger or smaller. Okay, very, so I'll very throw cool. The first word up there and it'll start throwing all of the words up there in just a second or two. Right on. About a minute and a half usually to process that. Um, it could be less if it if it's you know doesn't have to do a lot of work to, to get it through. So depending on the amount of text on the page, right. and depending on your lighting situation and all of that, right on it. There it goes. Very very cool. And now you do see that it's it's the lighting is messing. The with lighting it. is messing with it. Yeah. But I'm going to go back to one that we captured earlier. Okay, so this one here. Much better, right? There because we, we shot it in a better. So very cool. So this is actually able to give people that just normally wouldn't have the ability to just pick up a book right. and read it. Right. It gives them the ability to 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 take in that material. Absolutely. Yeah, so they don't have to get a special audiobook version or a special braille version or anything right. like that. They can right. they can use this to it's, it's very portable here. You can see the device being handheld. Okay. I can even shoot the the um, printed page much like this so using just my hands. Um, you know, it's it's portable. You don't have to sit at a scanner, a computer with OCR software and Texas speech software because we bundled it all into this neat package here. And will it work on like signs and stuff too? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've gone up and actually taken photographs of signs. And, you know, it's going to be a little harder for our low vision users, but our, our learning disability dyslexia users can actually take a photograph of it this way and then have it read back out to you. Now, the other thing is, if I was a low vision user and didn't realize that I placed my book upside down, it right. doesn't matter. Cool. It'll still process it. So it knows. It knows if it's it knows. upside down or right side up. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much, Raj. Thank you. Uh, this looks like a very cool device. It just shows you how technology is going to make ex accessing information even easier for everybody. Sponsors of tomorrow. That's what we're thinking. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, Raj.